is one of my favorite voices in the world. Jill Scott. This poem is called Nothing is for Nothing. <sighs> mm, if you feel it, holler when you hear it. <laughs> I had been turning tricks longer than I actually knew it. Being whatever they wanted me to be whenever they wanted me to be it. A freak. Inside, outside, kitchen counters, laundromats, two at a time, hotels, motels, and back seats to lease cars, vans, and jeeps. Made myself like it, because they liked it. And I liked that they liked it, so I continued being the perfect image of a wet dream. Nasty, wild, exotic, erotic. Freak was what they wanted, so freak was who I was. And everybody was walking around talking about me like teenage pregnancy wasn't becoming synonymous with being black and woman, like America wasn't suffocating our thoughts, like there was nothing to talk about but what I was doing or screwing. And I thought the whole damn thing was ridiculous, which it was, because I was content giving my men a little heaven between their <sighs> struggle to breathe and contemplation of suicide. Wasn't I good for the cause? Closed mind, open legs, making niggas forget why they so damn angry. Mm. Wasn't I good? <laughs> then the mood swung as well, the tempo, and I became an ideal. So they want her pretty and docile, caring and stupid. And there I was on your Mark, Seth, Joe, and I was Susie Homemaker on the hunt for love. Cooking and cleaning, ironing, faithful and a freak, because that's what they liked. And I like being what they like, so what they liked was who I was. <sighs> a prostitute, selling my soul for emotional gain, struggling not to be the third generation of lonely women in my family, struggling to gain, but gaining nothing but confusion, frustration, illusion, and emptiness, because there was no love, just empty condom wrappers on the floors to be discarded like me. A prize performer long before I actually knew it, too, because I was faking me out of the me I would become. The me that I see now, the me who holds on to herself with both hands and all feet, the me who must have love and give it. The me who brings more to the table than good looks in a wet hole. The me that is confident and intelligent and filled to the brim with respect for me. And a freak. Because that's what I like. And I like being what I like. And what 